Pakatan Harapan's manifesto for the 14th general election will include laws on political funding. Party Prebumi Basatu's Policy and Strategy Bureau Chief, Dr. Rice Hussein said, specifics on the laws will be included in the manifesto to be launched on Thursday. Uh, these uh, demands or the norms that I always say, the, the norms that should be incorporated in our, uh, our manifesto uh, has been discussed even earlier by the various stakeholders. Uh, I've met Cynthia a few times. Uh, so uh, we will make sure uh, that these things are incorporated in our manifesto if we have not incorporated it already. And, uh, and then you will see the, uh, on the day of the unveiling of the manifesto. Rice said in a press conference at Basatu's headquarters following a meeting with representatives of civil society groups who make up the Governance, Integrity, Accountability and Transparency or GIAT coalition. They handed over a memorandum to the party which outlined five demands, including laws on political funding. Centre to Combat Corruption and Cronism or C4, Executive Director Cynthia Gabriel said the parties did not necessarily need to commit to political funding laws immediately but should pledge to honour them after the elections. We're not asking politicians to declare their assets now or candidates to declare their assets now. But what we're saying is that we have quite painstakingly worked with the Bar Council to come up with a very comprehensive framework on an asset declaration law. So the work has been done. But what we want is that whoever forms the next government will commit to the persons who take public office to declare their assets before they start and perhaps in the next election cycle to declare their assets again. GIAT consists of six civil society groups, including C4, Democracy and Economic Affairs or IDEAS, SINA Project, Transparency International Malaysia, Friends of Kota Damansara, MyPJ, and Society for the Protection of Human Rights or PROHEM.